Hello, welcome to this Landsweeper end of life video where today I'll be covering the Microsoft SharePoint server end of life. Now Microsoft SharePoint is a platform that is used to manage content, collaborate, uh, manage documents, information, all of that in a centralized location. And many companies use it as a kind of internet portal as well. So here in Landsweeper, we're gonna head over to our security category where on then in lifecycle, we can find all of the lifecycle audits that we have within Landsweeper. Uh, this time we're interested in the Microsoft SharePoint end of life. So we're gonna open that one, get an overview of all of the SharePoint servers that we have within our network, and in this case, just one. And we can see exactly when the end of life will be of that SharePoint server, what version it's running, how many days are remaining and more. Now, if we want more details about this specific server, I can always click through on it and again, get an overview of all of the details of that server. So as you can see here on the asset page, we get an overview, a summary of some of the hardware, software, uh, user data. Um, you can find all of the details of that specific device on this page, on the asset page, whether it be, as I mentioned, a full list of the software, uh, users that are on the device, um, any kind of hardware information you might want to see as well. So any data you might need about a specific device you can find here. Now, if you wanna grab the report itself, all you need to do is head over to your Landsweeper installation, your site, and you can find it as I've shown you, you can find it in the report section already. Um, or if you do not have Landsweeper yet, you can head over to landsweeper.com, start your free trial, and then try this out with your own data, uh, get your own overview tailored to your specific environment. Or you can also head over to landsweeper.com, start your trial and try the demo site. So you can just get a view of what Landsweeper would look like uh, in a demo view as well. So with that, uh, I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.